And uh, what I'm going to do this afternoon uh, is not so much to teach you uh, anything, but probably what I can do is to share my experience in this business so that it will give you some hope and some uh, courage to move uh, forward in the business. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to share with you some of the challenges that I've gone through while building the business. I know it's not easy to come into this room. Uh, it takes work, uh, it takes uh, effort, it takes commitment, it takes uh, uh, lots of courage for sure. You know, uh, it takes thick skin <laughs> yeah, to get into this room. So I know exactly how you feel because you know, I've gone through all of that before. And uh, maybe what I'll do now is uh, just to share with you some of the challenges that I face. Maybe some of it that you are facing right now. Maybe you haven't faced it yet because you're still new. Or maybe you'll see that some of your downlines are facing the same challenges, you know. But, and uh, there is uh, ways to overcome it. Okay, there, there are certainly ways and tools to help you to overcome all the challenges that you're going through. So, um, I think one of the main challenges that we have in this business is work, okay, uh, or job. And I believe that all of you are still working, some of you, still working in a job or building the business, yes? Yeah, it's not easy, I've been there before. Uh, I used to work in the retail line, long hours. Uh, actually, I was employed by the HQ, so my hours is actually the office hours, which is 8.30 to 5.30. But because the company is in the retail line, so I have to take care of the retail line sometimes, and when they don't have enough <coughs> staff, I have to sit in, and uh, I've got to finish work till 10, 10.30. You know, that is like super long hours. It's really very stressful, especially when Bosses are pressing for performance, uh, pressing for results, you know, and they expect you to stay late to complete your work. And uh, yeah, it, it's not easy at all. And I used to work in uh, another company that is also, uh, actually I work in HQ, la, but then <laughs> it happens to be in the retail line, so I end up working really long hours. And sometimes they even have... Um, road shows during the weekends and you know in this business weekends are really very precious because you have functions to attend and that's the best time to uh, show the plan or do follow up or do trainings and things like that so sometimes you know because of work it actually takes up and eats up my weekend as well and that gives me even limited even more limited time to build the business right any one of you feeling the same way Anyone? Yeah. Oh, JB life is good. <laughs> Working in JB is still good, not as stressful as KL, right? Uh, another <coughs> challenge that I face is that I have leaders quitting in my business. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a fun thing. Uh, my upline, uh, Basil Harris, he says, you know, if you have, you know, a newcomer or, or a leaders that quit in your business, uh, what about me? I've got a whole country quitting on me. You know, so he has a huge country and he actually lost everybody in that country. So that actually gave me perspective and, you know, that really kept me going. Um, uh, sometimes, you know, when the leaders quit, it, uh, uh, it makes me ask myself, you know, what have I not done? You know, uh, am I, uh, how can I be a better leader? You know, questions like this, I've got to ask myself. Uh, if I don't ask these questions, I'll probably quit the business long time ago. If they quit, hey, you know, I can just quit. That's the easiest solution, isn't it? But uh, no, if they quit, I'm going to keep going. Uh, yeah, they quit, I'm going to keep going. That's it. <laughs> Simple. Well, there are times that business is not growing, okay? Business is not growing. Uh, there was a period of time where I felt that I was the only one doing the business uh, because I was alone in the preview. Uh, 
not to say exactly alone, I still have my outlines around, you know, and uh, that's already very comforting. At least my outlines that didn't quit, okay? And uh, yeah, and it, it is very depressing, you know, when you keep on working, you know, you're, you're showing the plan, you're making phone calls, you're meeting people, and yet nobody is willing to follow, okay? Me. Nobody was willing to follow me. <laughs> yeah. Um, during my journey in building the business, I also put on hold uh, in terms of shopping and traveling. Uh, one of the reasons is because I know that it's a business, I've got to invest in the business, and um, I just, I just uh, put my money and invested back into the business. Okay? I, I love shopping. Okay? Uh, I love buying nice stuff. I remember before the business, every weekend I used to go shopping with my mom. You know, you know KL is a big <coughs> paradise. So, and it was fun and I just had to put that on hold. You know, for the longest time I never go shopping and even my boss notices it. You know, my boss came to me and said that, what happened to you? You have not been shopping for some while. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it's a small price to pay. You know, it's a small price to pay. It's okay. Uh, I built a business when I was still a single and then uh, of course I found the man of my life and sometimes marriage can be a distraction okay uh, where you know marriage not, not marriage maybe I would say wedding <laughs> the wedding can be a distraction because you'll be planning uh, how to because it's your big day you know your big day wedding is a big day so you spend a lot of time planning it, make sure that you know everything uh, goes well, and you want to have the best and everything. But luckily, I came into the business when I was still a single, and I hear a lot of uh, speakers, you know, saying that why spend your whole life working on your wedding while you should be spending your whole life working on your marriage. You know, a lot of times people spend their whole life, you know, planning about their wedding to make it the most perfect one. And then after that, you know, they are not working on their marriage because marriage is the long term thing, you know. So, any singles here? <laughs> oh, quite a few of you. Okay. So, uh, and then, you know, of course, there are parents' pressure as well. They want the best for their children. They want this and they want that. Everybody starts giving you input on this and that. Oh, and then you've got to go to work and then you've got to build the business. Yeah, it can be a distraction. And then, of course, I have a daughter right now. Pregnancy and uh, <laughs> having a kid can be distracting as well. Uh, some people use it as an excuse to stop the business because the kid is more important, right? Um, we are not saying that the kid is not important, you know, but by the end of the day, ask yourself why are you building a business? You know, we build a business because of a better future for our family, our children, right? So, uh, taking care of kids is not easy, especially in the first two years and especially when you're a first-time mother. There's so many things to learn and they grow up so fast and then uh, you know you gotta give your fullest attention to them and uh, thankfully you know when I, I during my time of building the business I saw my upline uh, she went through pregnancy and having a kid and uh, she was really determined uh, and continuously build the business and that actually teach me, taught me that uh, you don't need to put the business on hold. You know, you can still weave this in around of what you're doing. Okay, you can still weave this in around of what you're doing. It may be very inconvenient, but you know, hey, there's always a solution. Well, building the business also, I've got some negative remarks, especially from uh, close families. Uh, that is also not fun. Uh, some of you may have uh, received some negative remarks as well from your family. Any of you? No? <laughs> Parents very supportive. 
<laughs> Super. Um, yeah. Even uh, after so many years of building the business, my mom sometimes still sees uh, the way I build a business and things like that. Sometimes she finds that I should get a real job. Uh, she finds that this business is too difficult. I should get a real job and uh, life can be more simple. Of course, she's right. But what kind of results do you want? Do you just want a mediocre life or do you want a great life? You know? My hubby sometimes also will uh, give some comments about the business. Not intentionally, I understand, because he's stressed at work and whenever he comes home, he wants to have a good meal and a wife, you know, pampering him. But in this business, you know that after work, you know, in the evening, we are out there showing the plan. So every time he comes home uh, without wife, without food. <laughs> so by the time I comes home, you know, he'll be like, he, yeah, whenever he's stressed, sometimes he does give negative remarks, I understand. And this business taught me how to bite my tongue to keep peace at home. So uh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Mates is a big problem, you know, I'm not sure about JB, but in KL, you know, whether you have a mate or you don't have a mate, you still have problem. Uh, when I don't have a mate, it's an issue for me because I have to look for a babysitter. Uh, because during the day, I still have time to take care of her and everything, but in the evening, uh, before my husband comes home, somebody has to babysit her. And usually babysitters finishes work at 6 these days, you know, <laughs> they don't work after hours. So it was really difficult to find babysitters and I just have to find solutions. Uh, just find solutions, you know, on how to handle it, whether it's the get parents to help or, you know, look out for babysitters, whatever it is. Just uh, when, you are look, when you look for it, the solutions will come, okay? And when you have a mate, you also have problems, you know, you're afraid they will run away, they don't take care of your kid properly, uh, uh, they don't feed your kid well, or they, you're afraid that they'll abuse your child. I'm a bit fortunate, my, my daughter is a uh, choleric sanguine, so she's six years old. Uh, if anything happens to her, she just scream. Lah, you know? <laughs> and she's sanguine, she'll tell you anything and everything, so I'm quite... Uh, Informed. I believe lah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm okay to leave her with, with my mate because of her personality, you know. If she's a phlegmatic or a man <coughs> call him, I'll probably think twice. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, yeah, you know, all these challenges, you, you may be facing them, you may not be facing them. And uh, what I'm just trying to say here is that whatever that you are going through, you know, to build the business, uh, all of the leaders in this room have already gone through. Okay? If not, if you listen to enough CDs, you'll find somebody overseas that facing the same challenge or distraction as you. Okay? Uh, we are no special. We are no special. Uh, now, what really kept me going in this business is really the CDs, books, functions, and especially uplines. You know, whenever I'm down, I just need to give a call to my upline. I remember those days, you know, when I was building the business uh, as a single. Uh, my brothers didn't want to join me. My uh, best friends didn't join me. My parents, too busy at work, they don't bother about me. So, uh, I have kind of like, okay, like I can say it's a blessing in disguise that I can build the business without all these uh, family distractions. But at the same time, you know, when you're down,